Gentlemen, you know what today is? Number 47 of the Starting a Business, Building a Brand, Tiege Hanley vlog. We've been doing this a while, and I actually have absolutely been, been loving it. Um, it's such a great outlet for me to be able to just turn on the camera, not have to plan or prepare anything, and just kind of go. Um, talk about Tiege Hanley, talk about what's happening. So since I'm talking about that, why don't I give you an update? Um, all right, so in last vlog, you saw me actually go to the lab and approve the eye serum. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to approve, now it's the eye cream, tomorrow is the serum. And then the following week, there are about three or four products that I'm going to be putting my final stamp of approval on so that they can then manufacture them and ship them to Chicago. Um, so here's the deal. What has been going on? Last week I told you I was, I've been bitchy. I was out of sorts. I just didn't feel like myself. I was frustrated, ultimately. I was frustrated because of the, the, the website. I was frustrated because of the, the people that are pausing versus canceling versus active subscriptions. Not that I'm frustrated that people pause, frustrated that I didn't understand it and I didn't really have a good handle on why it's happening, what's going on, and um, that a lot of those issues were solved, like I said last time, by sending an email and asking people, they were paused, what's going on? Um, this is a new business, and so getting and gathering as much information as we can from our customers, usage pattern, you know, tendencies, and all that good stuff is something that we need to understand. The reality is that we probably won't know what usage patterns, life cycle, and everything is for about a year. I mean, literally, it's going to take a year's worth of data for us to figure out any type of patterns or seasonal issue. I mean, we need data. And right now, like we've been launched for, I think it's like 89 days or something crazy like that. And, uh, you know, we're doing great. Uh, but there, there are issues and, and the cancellation thing and the website is really frustrating. Um, another comment was, hey, I, I know you're having web problems, but don't you have a web company? Isn't he who designed it? And the answer is yes. The problem, one of the problems, is the platform we chose to use. When you're building a website, and especially a, a website that's going to be selling things, you have to buy a website that is, um, you know, that has a shopping cart in it. And there are multiple shopping cart type websites. There's Shopify, there's Magento, there's, um, there's uh, WooCommerce, <laughs> there, there are a bunch of them. Anyway, you've got to basically, when you're starting a business, you've got to decide, okay, what is going to work best for me? And so we went with one website or one, one, um, one platform. And the platform we went with was WooCommerce. Well, WooCommerce is something that works really well and plays really well with WordPress. And since we were sort of using WordPress and... Anyway, long story short, WooCommerce is very limited. It's limited in the amount of sort of customers it can handle. It's limited in the functionality. And we are now sort of figuring out that it was probably not the right platform for us to go with, but we didn't know. We didn't have enough information and we basically were relying on my developer, Corn. Well, Corrin has only developed two e-commerce websites, and guess who they are for? This guy. And we designed one of them on a platform called Magento, which is this monstrous, totally overkill platform that somebody told me, oh, you should use Magento. <laughs> Get a second opinion. That's the first takeaway for this, uh, this <laughs> series or the, today's video. Um, and that was too big, too complex. We didn't need it. We don't have all sorts of different, you know, sizes and, and uh, Magento is a monster. It's what sites like Zappos use. So just to give you an idea of its potential and capability. Um, the other website that I use is, is Pete and Pedro that I sell things on. And that is, we, we use, you know, WooCommerce and it works for Pete and Pedro really well. But Pete and Pedro is not a super heavy subscription-based website like T. Shanley, which is all we pretty much do. And so we basically, he did some searching, he did some looking around, and ultimately ended up deciding on utilizing WooCommerce, which, you know, that's what he was familiar with. And so this is also sort of where in the, the issue lies. And so 
we built something on a platform that isn't necessarily built or designed to handle the volume of subscriptions that we have and it's not going to allow us to scale you know from here to here to here to here hopefully and so um, we're sort of in the process now of, of getting quotes the reality is that we probably need to do something custom but like we talked about in other vlogs anytime you go custom it's exponentially more expensive um, you can pretty much get a website that can handle commerce fairly inexpensive and be up and running in like a day you all have, all you got to do is go and buy a theme that's already built and um, they've got different the if you go to I think it's theme forest there's a zillion you pick the platform and you can go in and check it out and then customize from there and so we probably should have went custom but you don't know until you sort of get out there, people start using it, and you know, there's a saying, you don't know what you don't know, and we didn't know what we didn't know. <laughs> Sorry. God, I'm, so, I'm, I'm like Yoda some days. <laughs> anyway, um, so website, we're, we're actually bidding out and, and sort of putting our feelers out there for um, people that are familiar or capable of building custom subscription type sites, people that have done it before for big companies. And the issue is going to be money. It's going to be very expensive for us, for a small startup like ourselves. But, you know, it's sort of one of those things where you got to decide, is it better to just kind of bite the bullet now or how much money, time, energy, frustration is it going to take us over the course of the next three months, six months, a year sort of just putting patches and plugins and fixing little bugs here and there, or should you just bite the bullet, spend the money? Ultimately, you've got to decide, and that's something that we're deciding. A place that we're deciding and starting to discuss it is actually happening in, how do you like that map of the US? Connecticut. Shit. Right there, right outside New York City is Connecticut. You know who's there? Rob and our chemist. I am down here in Georgia. Kelly is over here at T. Hanley headquarters in Chicago. What is happening this week? Actually, next week. Everybody is getting together in Connecticut to have a meeting with the chemist and with Rob. So Kelly is flying. I was supposed to fly, but have decided I'm not going to go. I can't go. And this is something that, uh, first off, I'm not a huge traveler. I don't love to travel, but it's a business meeting that I am actually not going to be able to make because of my prior obligations here in Atlanta. And I am upset about it, but at the same time, I've got to be realistic. Um, what we're going to end up doing is they're going to be having a meeting. It's going to be a quick trip, but we've got to discuss some things. And it's been a while since everybody's gotten together, including the chemist, and he is an integral part of this conversation because we're sort of talking about some, some you know, other products, some modifications, and, you know, we're doing some really cool stuff. And so it has to be with him. And since him and Rob are up there, Kelly's going there, and they're actually going to Skype me in. I'm going to stay here in Atlanta. Um, because with me, and the other lesson of the day, is my business, Alpha M, takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of work. And for me, even though that meeting would be short, I would fly up on a Wednesday. We'd have dinner Thursday morning through Thursday afternoon. We'd meet, fly home Thursday night. I would lose two days of production schedule. Um, the way that I work is I produce a video every single day, Monday through Friday. Um, some videos go up on YouTube, some videos are just for my website, but regardless, I am a content making machine, not to mention this vlog. And for me to take a day off, that forces me to have to fit that content creation in some other place. And with the holidays coming up, I have been just slammed with um, promotional videos and brand integrations. You know, I have multiple businesses. And so I've got Pete and Pedro here in Atlanta. I've got Alpha M. I've got I'm Alpha M. I've got Menfluential Media. And I've got T. Shanley. And the, um, you know, the idea of me taking off two days, 
to go and do Tish Hanley right now in the sort of throes of just the busiest I've ever been in a really long time just isn't, oh, it just isn't in the cards. And so I was going to do it, but I actually got a, a, a call from Kelly uh, actually right before I filmed this vlog saying, Aaron, Rob and I have talked and you can just, we can just Skype you in. There's no need for you. You're so busy. And this was something where it just really made me just thankful to have good supportive partners. And it's another reason why, you know, the people that you get in business with, they've got to have your best interest. And this just showed me that they have my back, like they get it. And even though everybody is full steam ahead, 100% on board with T. Shanley, they understand that, okay, you've got other obligations. And in order for us to be successful as T. Shanley, we need you to be successful doing these other things. And so, uh, but I know that's not their motivator and that's pretty awesome. Um, another cool thing that I sort of figured out and one of the good things for them having me as a partner is I, the other day I was, I was in there and we were packaging up a ton of Pete and Pedro and I put a little card in each Pete and Pedro box basically saying thank you for your order if you're interested in saving a little bit of money sign up for the bueno hair club it's a subscription you're gonna blah 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 and all of a sudden i was looking at all these boxes that i'm sending out right because i'm sending out for pete and pedro around a hundred orders sometimes more a day that is a lot of people that already love my hair product why not promote tish hanley to them and so what we're actually going to do is, is um, we're going to, we actually designed a coupon that's going to also be put inside of the Pete and Pedro boxes and shipments so that when people get it, they can see it and we can promote to them. Um, and so it's really cool. And it was sort of like this aha moment. And uh, I mean, I'm really excited to try it. The other thing it allows us to do is um, A-B test. You hear a lot about A-B testing, testing different offers, te testing different incentives, you know, testing different taglines, testing, di basically presenting two different opportunities to different people and seeing which one is best. And so we actually are going to test two different offers in the Pete and Pedro sort of box. And we're going to see which one works better. We're, we're going to see which one, you know. And so it, it's really cool that we have this captive audience that we're going to be able to test. And so I'm really excited about that. It, it's cool. And they should be here next week. And I will definitely let you guys know sort of how it shakes out, how it turns out. But uh, before I wrap this up, I just want to thank all of you for the comments in the last vlog where I was talking about cancellation. A lot of you actually told me sort of what was going on and um, you know it, it all sort of reinforced what we knew from the questionnaire but I love hearing your feedback um, this like I said I say this in every vlog but I can't tell you how much it means to me personally that you are as invested and you're along for this journey uh, T Shanley is a business that I believe in with all of my heart being and soul and we're doing something truly, in my opinion, amazing and remarkable. Um, we do realize that a lot of our audience is young, um, not typical skincare users, which is A, awesome because it's introducing skincare to a younger population. If I would have known back in the day when I was 16, 17, 18, about moisturization and how much I would actually benefit from it years in the future, I would have started back then. And so one thing that we're able to do, and because of the YouTube channel, we're able to sort of modify people's behavior a little bit for the better, not just because they're buying boxes from T. Shanley, but this is something that's going to pay off in the long run in terms of confidence, feeling good, looking good years down the road. But having a younger demographic does sort of, you know, knowing that our audience, a lot of them are young, as opposed to the standard um, I guess guys that would demographic of men that would actually use skincare like 
guys in their late 30s up to you know 40s 50s that's kind of the the standard and the norm for people that are using skincare right now the fact that we're able to sort of shift it and skew it a little bit younger i think is amazing and i'm really excited about it but that does change buying habits uh, because money people young you know younger dudes like you that are watching this vlogs are much more price sensitive. You know, 25, 35, 45 dollars is a lot more to you than somebody who has an established career and a bit more buying power and expendable income. Um, the fact that you would try it, I can't tell you how much that means to me. The fact that you like it, I can't tell you how much that means to everybody. <laughs> and so, um, I don't know why I was going off on that tangent, but your audience and the age, the demographic will sort of shape and shift your, your business a bit. And so we're having to shape and shift on things that we didn't know that we were going to, if that makes sense. Uh, but all things considered, things are rocking, things are rolling, we are doing great, and uh, we're really excited. Our new shipment should be making it to T. Shanley Warehouse um, right as products wear, uh, run out. Awesome, <laughs> seriously. That is a big relief, uh, but just wanted to say thank you so much um, for all of your support, for subscribing to this YouTube channel, for following along in the vlog. If you have any questions, please down in the comments. It could be business related, T. Shanley related, Alpha M related, let me know. And I'll do my best next week to answer some questions and to give you a little bit more insight and hopefully cross your fingers, we might actually get to go to the lab again and see them actually mixing some of the products. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's what Peter told me, but he's not returning my emails. <laughs> Them's the breaks. Gentlemen, thanks for watching.